Hello everyone, today we'll be going over all the steps you need to take in order to make a custom UI.Sorg for CDGP7. Whether it be a character, a card, or a tire, today you will find an answer to your question. So, let's begin. Seven and go look for something that I have a skin put over but the UI doesn't match. For example, I know that my Quacker mod over my Clown card doesn't have the UI yet. So this is the example that we'll be using today. The next step would be to insert your SD card or micro SD card into your PC. If you don't have an SD card slot or a micro SD card slot, then go buy an adapter from Amazon. I'll link one below, they're really cheap and they're really easy to use. Once you plugged your SD card into your PC, you should see a folder that looks similar to this. In your SD card directory, you'll see a folder called TTGP7. Double click on it to open it, then go to My Stuff, Carts, and then you'll see a file here called UI.Sark. Now to open this file, you'll need a program called Every File Explorer. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. You should go download it so you can open this file. Once you downloaded it, open the file, and you'll see something that looks similar to this. Because we're editing the UI element of a card, we're going to need to add something onto this file. Usually, you can try and replace something, or make your own from scratch, but here we're just going to add something using this little button up top here, but we'll get to that later. The next step you should take is to download a copy of the MK7 source code. A link to that will also be down in the description. Once you've downloaded it, double click on it to open it, go to RAMFS, then open UI, and then you will see a bunch of .scs files in this folder. Don't get intimidated yet, we will only be needing one of them for this video. It is called menu.scs. Find it and double click on it to open it with EFE. Once it's open, there's a bunch of files in here, but those really aren't interesting for us today. We'll only be focusing on the .bclim files or the image files. To find the exact image file we need in menu.scs, we'll go up to the top right to the search bar and look up b underscore kpc. This is the name of the card that we're going to be editing the UI for as stated in the game. Once you find something that's highlighted in green, you found your file. Now you'll click on it and then right click on it and then you'll see two options, replace and export. We'll be clicking on the export option. Now I recommend making a folder for this, but since this is just a tutorial, I'll just put it on the desktop and click on save. Now you should have a file up in the top left here called b underscore kpc.bclim. This .bclim file is still useless for us though because it's not a file that we can edit as an image. For this we're going to be using a program called cookie. You'll find a download link to this program in the description too. Once you open up cookie you'll see a bunch of options here but we're going to press on file and then open. Now navigate to wherever you saved your picture, for me this is the desktop, and then click on b underscore kpc.bclim and click on open. You'll see it pop up in cookie here, and this is exactly what we want. Next we'll go up to the toolbar of it, and we're going to click on export png. Now I recommend putting your PNG file wherever your BCLIM file is. For me, again, that is the desktop. It will get a little extension to the file name .00.png and now when we click on save, we'll see it pop up in the top left for me here. And now we have an editable PNG file. To actually edit this PNG file, we will download a program called Krita. When you open it, it will look something like this. Of course, you can use your own editing program. Some good ones are Inkscape, GIMP, or even Photoshop, but I'm using one called Credo. Go on to edit your image to fit your needs. A few tools you will most likely need for this are the Transform tool, the Brush tool with setting the Eraser mode, and the Drag tool. Now, this is basically our finished UI element. One quick tip, if you hold Shift and drag anywhere in the Transform tool, you will go on an axis, so yeah, you'll snap to an axis and you can't move it around freely. Make sure you're saving it as a PNG too and your transparent color is actually transparent. And then you will see a finished product on your desktop here. 
is see a quacker.png file. The next thing we'll do to import our quacker.png into the game to make it work correctly is transform it back into a bclim file. To do this, we're going to be using cookie again. So open it up, and you'll see this window again. Just put it wherever you want. Next, click on file again, and then click on open. Just open up your previously used b underscore kpc dot bclim, else this isn't going to work. Double click it or click on open to open it. Next, go to image in the top, click on it, and you'll see two options, export png and import png. We're going to be using the import png option. Click on your quacker.png and then click on open. Now you'll see this pop up. It has successfully replaced the clown cart, but we haven't saved it yet. Next, click on file again and then click on save as. You can also press F12 for this. You'll see in the bottom here, it'll say save as type binary layout image dot BCLAM and so on. This is exactly what we want. and We can name it whatever we want to. For convenience, I'll name it quacker again and then click on save and we have now successfully created the proper .bclim file for use to correctly import our new .bclim image that we just made with cookie we'll open up a file explorer window and navigate to our sd card open cdgp7 my stuff parts and the ui.sarc in here you'll see a little icon with a caption add file this is what I talked about before. Click on it and then select the file that you want to import. For us, that is quacker.bclim. Click on open and when you do that, it'll give you this little dialog. It'll ask you if you want to add the file from name or from hash. In our case, we're using from name. And in this text dialog box here, you have to specify the exact path that the original bclim file was in. So for us, if we go open our file explorer and go to the mk7 source, RAMFS, starting from UI, we have to specify the path. So for us, that will be UI forward slash menu dot SES. So let's put that in UI forward slash um, menu dot SES slash again. And then our default BCLAM file name. So for us, that is B underscore KPC dot BCLAM. Every file Every UI file in the game has one of these names, and you need to remember them in order to import this correctly. So once you wrote UI menu SES B underscore KPC, click on OK, and you should now have added your file. Now it's a little bit tricky to find because it'll be converted to a hexadecimal, but once you find it in here, for me it's called 0x E6 and so on, you can double click on it to view it, and you'll see that you have successfully imported a quacker. Close this and then go to file and click on save. Your UI.sarc is now ready for testing. So let's eject our SD card and put it into our 3DS to see if it worked. So plug your SD card back into your 3DS, open up CDGP7, and once you're in here, let's see if the import worked. And there we go. The Koopa Clown card is now replaced with the Quacker in the bottom left. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you found the guide useful, and I hope you go on to make your own UI.sarc for a cart. See you!